So this video is an introduction to solving equations when there's more than one step required. So this particular um, type of equation, um, what you have to do is add and subtract and then multiply or divide. Um, the interesting thing about solving equations is you actually do the reverse of Bedmus. So instead of starting with, say, multiplying and dividing, when you solve an equation, you're undoing an equation and solving for the unknown, and so you actually work backwards. And so you would actually add and subtract first, and then your final step would be to multiply or divide. So if we look at this first example, 2x minus 3 equals 9. Again, just like we've been practicing with um, simple equations, you have to ask yourself, what do I need to do or what do I need to get rid of to just have x? And so if we look at this particular example, the first thing we need to get rid of is subtracting 3. So how do we get rid of subtracting 3? Well, we add 3. And remember, just like with simple equations, you have to add 3 to both sides. And that's what this piece in red is showing. Um, remember that once you add 3 on the left-hand side, these will cancel out. And so you'll be left with 2x equals 12. Well, then this actually is an example of a simple equation. You've been doing these earlier in the week. And so what you need to do, how do you get x by itself? How do you get rid of multiplying by 2? You divide both sides by 2, and your answer is 6. So let's look at another example. This particular example shows your work in a slightly different way. So just like with simple equations, we had two different methods. Same thing with multi-step equations. So in this particular one, again, we ask ourselves, what do I need to get rid of? I need to get rid of the 8. I need to get rid of adding 8. To get rid of adding 8, I subtract 8. Now remember, if I subtract 8 from this side, I'm just left with 4x. So what this step is showing is it's just showing that on the left-hand side, I'm left with 4x, and on the right-hand side, I subtracted my 8. Then you simplify, and now you ask yourself, what do I need to do to get rid of the 4? Well, how do I get rid of multiplying by 4? I divide by 4, and I get my final answer. So what I want you to do now is I want you to try a couple of these examples, maybe pause the video, try the example, and then restart the video and see if you were right. Okay, so in this first example, first thing we need to do is get rid of the 5. So I'm going to show it using method 1. So to get rid of the 5, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And after I subtract 5 from both sides, I'm left with negative 3x on the left, and I'm left with 18 on the right. Then to get rid of multiplying by negative 3, I need to divide by negative 3. My final answer is x equals negative 6. So check to see if you did it correctly. For the second example, I'm going to show you um, your work using method 2. Remember, method 2, we just have 5x. We cancel out the negative 30. And on the right-hand side, what did we have to do to cancel out subtracting 30? We had to add 30. So I'm going to show that on the right-hand side. Then I'm going to simplify. Be really careful with your simplifying here. This isn't 45 plus 30, it's negative 45 plus 30. So you'll get negative 15. Again, then you ask yourself, what do I need to do to get rid of multiplying by 5? And you divide both sides by 5. And your final answer will be x equals negative 3. Really interesting thing, um, if you didn't realize, you can actually check to see if you're right. And to do that, you just replace, remember what we learned about substitution? You replace x with whatever you found x to be. So in your head, you can actually come back up here, and you can ask yourself, what's negative 3 times negative 6? Well, that's 18. And what's 18 plus 5? Oh, well, that's 23. Oh, well, look, the left-hand side is 23, so is the right-hand side. That means you must be correct. Likewise, in this one, what's 5 times negative 3? 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. What's negative 15 minus 30? Well, that's negative 45. The left-hand side is negative 45, so is the right-hand side. That means you're correct. 
If the left-hand side does not equal the same thing as the right-hand side, it means you've made a mistake. So equations are really cool because you can actually check to see if you're right or not before you even hand it in. Um, now let's look at C. C is a little bit more challenging. Um, remember, what's in front of this 5? Remember, when there's no sign in front, it means that the 5 is positive. So to get rid of adding 5, you subtract 5 from both sides. Or you can show your work using method 2. Now again, be really careful. What are you left with on the left-hand side? This negative sign belongs with the 2. So you're left with negative 2x. And on the right-hand side, you have 20. So double check that you did that correctly. This is a tricky one. And then ask yourself, how do I get rid of multiplying by negative 2? You divide by negative 2. And let's see if you got that one right. If you got that one right, excellent job. This is the hardest one that you're going to get with multi-step equations. Um, next year in grade 8, they get more complicated, but this is, the, this is about as complicated as it's going to get in grade 7.